Hey LEGO fans and welcome back to MB Bricks. My name is Maya and today we are looking at part four of my building a LEGO castle for Bricks in the Six 2024. If you like castle or medieval style builds, be sure to leave a like and a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more. Today we are going to be looking at a couple of different rooms, including the map room, the seating area, as well as the library. So without further ado, let's dive right in. This section seemed to take me quite a while to put together. However, I was waiting for two separate bricks and pieces orders to come in to complete this section. The main foyer was to extend to be two stories tall, so I've completed the wall and added a large brick built shield in the red and white colors. The grand staircase leads up to a balcony and rooms extending off of each end of it. We can see a maid puttering away tidying up after the royals. On the left hand side we can see the continuation of the servant's stairwell. There is not much to see in here, but I did switch up the colors from the dark bluish grey to the light bluish grey to represent the lower levels being damper since they are on or below ground level. The map room is always a fun one for myself to put together and there is a lot to see in this small area. The center of the room has a large table that is actually built sideways to give a cool texture to the top of it, finished off with a map and compass. On the left hand side we can see a small desk area with a note and glowing candelabra. The shelf beside has some books and items found on faraway journeys. The other side is finished off with some treasure and a globe. The opposite side of the foyer are a couple more rooms. This first one is the seating room, where the royal family would hang out and entertain guests. There is a large staircase that leads up to the third floor, and in front, a couple of different musical instruments to show off to visitors for entertainment. In front of the window is a large dessert table piled high with pastries, cookies, and a large cake, again, in case they have guests. The candles are glowing here again, and another glowing candle is placed on this table, which also holds some plates, fresh water, which was hard to come by in medieval times, so is once again definitely showy, and a couple of goblets. We can see here the older princess in her royal gown chatting with a friend who has come to visit, possibly giggling about some nobleman who is visiting from out of town. The very front of the room is where you can find some seats and a small table which has a checkerboard set up to play. The seating area leads into the library, which is one of the few in the medieval era. I tried to keep a cozy feel to the room with the dark brown furniture. A large built-in surrounds the window, leaving a little reading nook in front. The shelves are decorated with various objects. There is a small desk with a half-written note and then another larger bookshelf crammed with books. I finished off the room with a large rug, two brick-built chairs, and a table piled precariously with books as well. To finish off, I will show you a quick view of how the front of the castle is coming together. And that covers everything for the second floor of my build for Bricks and the Six 2024. If you want to catch up on previous sections of this build, or if you want to see more medieval style builds, be sure to check the description below. I will leave a link to both of those playlists. If you haven't already, please do subscribe as it does help out this channel a lot. Thanks so much for checking out this video today, guys. And until next time, keep on building.